What I would like to do in this video is show you how to pair the VEX IQ second generation brain with the VEX IQ second generation controller. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to turn on the controller and I'm going to turn on my brain, right? Or uh, excuse me, the brain and the controller. Now you can see in mine, they're already paired. You'll know if they're paired when the green power LED flashes green on both the brain and on the controller. So mine are already paired, but that's okay. I can show you how to pair them even though mine are already paired. What you're gonna to wanna to do, let's make sure that we're on the home menu. And so we can do that by hitting the X button a few times. So now that I know that I'm on the home menu, it says home right up there, I'm gonna use these navigation buttons, the left button and the right button, and I'm gonna use the right button, and I'm gonna come over here to the very last menu option, which is settings. And it'll say um, settings right down here at the bottom. Now I'm gonna hit the check mark. So now once again, I'm gonna use the right navigation button and I'm going to navigate to the second menu option. And that second menu option, it's going to say link right down here at the bottom. I'm not sure you can see it clearly on my video because the lights tend to uh, cause a glare. So I've highlighted link and I'm going to press the check mark. So now, so now what it's doing is it's showing me what I have to do to link the uh, brain and the controller. And you're going to notice my lights are no longer flashing. This one's turned yellow, and over here on my controller, it's solid green. So it's showing me, right up here, it's showing that um, we've got to press these two buttons right here, the uh, two left shoulder buttons. We're going to hold those down. And while we're holding it down, the power button here, we have to hit it twice. And this is the most difficult part. What we have to do is we kind of have to hit it in the same timing that it's showing flashing here. So what I'm going to do, once again, I'm going to hold down my two buttons right here, the two uh, left shoulder buttons, and I'm going to hit this in kind of a one-two um, pattern. So one-two. And there we go, I got it on the first try. You can see now that both of these are flashing in time with each other, so we're paired. The most important part is that timing of pressing this um, power button. You need to do that kind of in that same rhythm that it shows you on the graphic there. It's kind of a one, two, kind of quick. Now that we're paired, once again, we know we're paired because this light is flashing and the light on the controller is also flashing. I'm going to keep my controller off screen because I'm having a little bit of difficulty, not only with the glare here, but with the autofocus on this uh, document camera. But you don't need to see my controller. That's okay. All the important stuff happens on the uh, brain right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test it out. We're going to make sure that it works. So what we're going to do is I'm on that link um, menu option. And so we are going to navigate back to the drive menu, which is um, the first thing we have to do. We're going to go to the home menu. I'm going to press the X button a few times. And that brings me uh, to the home menu. It says home right up here in the left hand corner. And once again, I know you can't see that because of the, uh, the glare. But I'm on the home menu. And now I'm going to use the left navigation button. I'm going to navigate all the way here to what's called the drive menu. Drive menu allows us, to, just what it says, to drive our robot around with our controller. And um, so what we're going to do from the drive menu, I'm just going to press the check mark. And now it gives us a few options. The very first one is a run. And that's the one we want in this case. Run allows us to drive the robot around with our controller for essentially an unlimited amount of time. Well, you know, until the batteries run out or, or we stop. In other words, it's not a timed drive. So now that I'm on the um, run 
menu option on the drive menu. Once again, it says drive right up here in the upper left. And once again, I don't think you can see it, but that's okay. I'm going to press the um, check mark. Check mark basically means select. So I'm going to select. So now I should be able to use my controller. And like I said, I'm going to keep my controller off screen because whenever I bring it into the field of view, it tends to, uh, the autofocus goes crazy on this thing. So here we go. And sure enough, I can, I can drive it around with the controller. So that's perfect. All right. Um, once again, the most difficult part of this is getting that um, rhythm right when you're pressing the power button twice when you're pairing. It's a, let me see if I can put my controller into here. It looks okay. So once again, it's kind of a quick rhythm. It's one, two. It's not one, two, or one, two. It's one, two. You'll be holding those left shoulder buttons and pressing this twice, one, two. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comments below. Thanks a lot.